So two issues here. To your point regarding Purim, um, almost historically, at least since 1994, exactly 30 years ago, when there was the massacre at uh, the Cave of the Patriarchs, perpetrated by an Israeli terrorist, Baruch Goldstein, uh, who killed 29 Palestinians, there have been terror attacks on Purim um, in revenge. And therefore, there is heightened alert each time the calendar goes on and Purim comes. So obviously, the security forces uh, would be on alert, especially as uh, people are walking around wearing masks and costumes. And this is— uh, It makes it a very easy— Yes, for, for a terrorist uh, to uh, sneak in um, and perpetrate uh, his uh, vile act. But for your larger uh, question, you know, it reminds one of the War of Attrition in 1969-1970, when the IDF fought along the Suez Canal. But in Tel Aviv, restaurants were open, people went to the theater and the cinema. Life went on as if uh, these were two uh, separate and different Israels. And also, during the 18-year-long stay of the IDF in Lebanon, again, the um, young uh, soldiers, conscripts, uh, in Lebanon, fought and sometimes died, and uh, in Tel Aviv and many other places around Israel, life went on. So apparently, this is quite the new normal here, a routine. Uh, you can uh, have a good time. Perhaps, by the way, the same reserve soldier or even draftee coming back um, on leave can uh, have a good time, then go back uh, to their units and fight on.